Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to show you something I'm very excited about. Wired Customs' very own spark plug kits. Uh, we have them for both electronic ignition and point style ignition. They do require two different types of wires, so make sure you pick the right one when you go on my website. Um, every day it seems like I'm making a new kit for a different motor type. The biggest hitters that I've had so far is the flathead four cylinders and the flathead V8s. I just started making them for small block Fords, small block Chevys. And today I made my very own kit for the wire blocks. So every day I'm extending to what motors we can actually make these wire kits for. If you have electric ignition, make sure you get the electric ignition kit. That's eight millimeter uh, suppression core wire, which I have here. Now on the inside is a modern spark plug wire. It just looks vintage on the outside. We're going for that look, traditional hot rod look, I guess you could call it. So on the inside, we have that typical insulation, but on the outside, we have woven cloth uh, insulation. Then it's been dipped in lacquer to kind of seal that cloth up. Uh, we have multiple colors, as you can see here. And today I'm gonna show you how to strip and crimp and put the boots on uh, your own kit. So what I do here is I cut the spark plug wires to length depending on what motor you have. Then I strip and crimp the distributor side of the spark plug wire kit. I leave the plug side of the spark plug wire extra length and you're going to have to strip it and crimp it yourself because you could route it different. You want to go from the back underneath the valve covers or you want to go over the valve covers or if you have a flathead and you want to use 90s or if you want to use straights just depending on whatever look that you like to go with. So I leave the spark plug ends longer so you can route them and run them however you guys like. Uh, give you that custom fit to your motor, your setup. Every motor is a little bit different on depending on where you have the oil filter or how you want to route your wiring and your plug wiring. So I leave that up to you guys to give you that custom fit. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how I strip and crimp the distributor side here and I show you what crimpers I use. Um, I am about to start selling these myself also, but you can just go ahead and get these off Amazon. These are the blue and red uh, strippers and crimpers. It gives us this really nice arch style crimp. So it folds the ends over, gives a really good crimp on it. And it does the perfect strip. So when it comes to these suppression core wires, the way you strip them is extremely important because there's a conduit around the wire on the inside, which I'll show you here in a second. If that conduit gets peeled off, that is ruined. So we need to strip it to a point to where it doesn't completely strip the whole thing and it leaves that conduit in here. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what you see here is all the different colors that I have for my kits. Uh, hopefully you can find a good color combination that either matches or contrasts uh, your motor to make it look really nice. We have a solid black. Then we have all these blacks with tracers. We call these different colored tracers. Then different colored wires with either black tracer. Then over here we have red and black, red, uh, yellow and black, then yellow with black and red. So there's, I think, a good amount of options. Today I'm going to show you how to do it on the red or the black with the red tracer. And this is going to be a fully booted kit. Some of our flathead kits are not booted on the spark plug side to give you that good traditional look. Um, but if you would rather have a fully booted kit, we do have that too. So it's up to you to make your choice. Um, the coil side is going to have this really nice vintage boot. Then all of our distributor sides are going to have this other nice just, uh, vintage boot. So that's what you'll have regardless. And if you opt in for spark plug boots, here's our spark plug boots. So for the wide blocks, stuff like that, where you don't want uh, your, your spark plug in to be open because you can't see it anyways, you really have it booted, this is good for you on a flathead. I love the look of an unbooted flathead. I think it looks really cool just because the spark plugs are out in the open. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make the distributor ends here. So I'm gonna show you how to crimp and strip these correctly so you don't damage the core on the inside. If that core on the inside gets damaged, you cannot use it. You have to cut that end off and strip it again. The amount that you want to strip the end of this wire is almost the twice the distance of the actual crimp here itself. This portion here that sticks up that you're going to crimp it. So eyeball what's twice the length there. Mark that with your finger and go ahead and get your stripper here. This is the end that we're gonna be using right there, that part of the stripper. And what I'm gonna do is crimp it around in the circle or strip it around in the circle here. So I want to make sure I cut through all the insulation and this is a little bit overkill. I'm doing this extra, but this is what I do to not ruin this wire. So you want to get a nice, good, clean cut all the way around. And we want to make sure that this will spin freely from the rest of the wire. That means you cut all the way through. 
So I'm gonna get this and spin it counterclockwise because that's how it winds on the inside. I do not wanna spin it clockwise from the way that you guys are looking at it, right? I don't wanna spin it clockwise uh, because that's gonna unwind that insulation on the inside that we wanna keep. So counterclockwise and pull it off at the same time. And that'll free it without damaging, without damaging that inner core there. If this pulls away on itself, that's no good. You gotta cut it off and try again. So there it is. And when we go to actually put this on our end, which I wanna boot it first, if you're gonna have boots, I recommend actually booting it before you strip it, but I am thinking out loud, so not a big deal to boot it afterwards. We just gotta make sure we don't ruin that inner core there. So boot it before, just to play it safe but I've done this enough times now that I can get away with it. There it is. If you're doing this and you're having a hard time sliding these boots on, you can actually spray the wire with a uh, window cleaner, not Windex, but the aerosol uh, window cleaner. That'll work out really well. So what we're gonna do when we're gonna crimp this, we want this to be folded over and we want the fold to be on the side uh, that's flat here. So the complete flat surface is gonna get that fold the crimp is gonna go up here on the top. We do not wanna crimp into that wire. So let's set that up into our crimper here. And the part of the crimper that we're gonna be using is this one on the inside that arches it back down and crimps onto itself. I think that has the best hold out of everything that I've used so far. We're gonna go ahead and put this in there. Get that ready to crimp. I'm gonna fold this over, make sure that fold is on the smooth side, not on the crimp side. Slide this in. And go ahead and crimp it all the way down. So that gives us this really great crimp. Now it's important to not have uh, that inner wire sticking out here, just in case you grab down here to pull a boot off. If you have a misfire, you're trying to diagnose it later, you don't wanna shock the crap out of yourself, all right? so. We all know that doesn't feel good, so make sure that inner wire isn't sticking out really long past this. If it is, cut that off with a razor blade is what I recommend to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull this boot back over here. And there we go, we have our nice booted distributor end of the wire. And when you guys get it, you're gonna be doing the exact same process just with either the 90s or the straights. And here's what my straights look like. Good, classy, vintage style straights without boots or with boots, it's up to you. So here's an actual kit getting ready to go out to Canada. So I do ship outside the United States. You just can't uh, purchase it off my website because my website for some reason can't calculate shipping for that far. But if you want something and you're outside of the United States, uh, send me an email. So real quick, I wanna show you two things here. How this clips into the distributor, which I'm very happy with. So actual clip in, so that's all really important. Then on the spark plug side, our spark plug ends clip in as well. And they're actually kind of hard to get off, which is a good thing, of course. So good, nice clip on ends, uh, good quality guys. This isn't China cheap, broken stuff. This is good, good quality. Now, thank you guys for watching to the end of this video if you made it this far. I know making spark plug wires is actually fairly simple. You really don't even need this tool. You can do it with pliers at home, but I just wanna get you guys set up with a good vintage look. Small block Chevy, you can dress it up to make it look like an early 265, vintage wires, all these different things that you could do. This actually really, really helps, I think, the overall look, vintage look of your motor, especially when it's just so much cheaper to put a small block in something instead of buying a really expensive flathead or buying a really expensive flathead and your local uh, auto parts store only has like neon blue wires and yellow wires and nasty stuff like that. So I think this will help spruce it up quite a bit guys. And uh, look up on my website, every day I'm adding a different motor type. If you don't see your motor type on there, shoot me an email, Wired Customs LLC. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen at gmail.com. And uh, shoot me an email if I don't have your motor listed yet. All you have to do is give me a couple measurements. I can make them for tractors. I can make them for anything that you guys have. You want an old go-kart or a V860 or something like that with vintage style cloth covered wires. Just give me some measurements. I can hook you guys up. I look forward from hearing from you guys. And I really appreciate all the pictures you guys have been sending me so far of 
your vintage motors with these vintage style spark plug wires on it. So thank you guys for watching. Now that you have this information, get out in your garage and get your shift together.